That belongs in a museum. He's not going to use his hero power until next turn anyway, where he will likely have the mana to play Finley and do it immediately. And the Divine Shield uh, value trading up with a Flame Tongue actually, you know, Rep. Seems like it could create some favorable trades in the future. And that's a big draw from Inner there. The Forbidden Ritual allows him to play Darkshire Councilman, play Forbidden Ritual, uh, not only get a huge buffed Councilman on board, but also get a very wide board that's very difficult for Tice to trade into, even with his, uh, his Flame Tongue Totem on board. It's important to note, Many players include a Elemental Destruction or Lightning Storm in some of their Shaman decks. Tice does not. Tice has no way to clear this board. He does not, but he does have a way to at least clear that ever-growing threat of the Councilman. That second Flame Tongue is possibly the only thing in his deck that could do it efficiently. Uh, he's going to go ahead and Totem before playing Finley here, which you know might seem obvious, but there is a thought not to do it because sometimes you pick up the Warlock Hero Power, which means that you have more mana available to you for a card that you draw if you don't Totem first. And this is an interesting decision. Fire Blast versus Lightning. I mean, he, he can't pay two mana a turn to kill a 1-1 one, one each turn. That's not a line that's going to win you the game, he right? Really, I, just... I feel like he really, yeah, he, he picks the life tap. He really needs to find higher impact cards like Doomhammer, <laughs> which <laughs> yep. he does. Well and Inner with the well played as uh, Tice gets exactly what he's looking for. Uh, now, Inner does have uh, a very good turn here, potentially. Oh, Ooh. a zero cost 8-8 eight, eight in the Sea Giant is huge. All right, so hopefully Inner doesn't just go ahead and Mortal Coil that 5-1 right in the middle first. That seems like a bit of a uh, potential mistake. So trading out the Flame Tongue Totems here first seems sensible. Then using the Mortal Coil to finish something else off. He only has five power in attacks from these 1-1s. One -one, so without using the Mortal Coil on a Flame Tongue Totem, he couldn't even get rid of the buffs on the board. Yeah, he, he could choose to just remove both Flame Tongue Totems this turn yeah. uh, using the five power he has and the Mortal Coil. That would leave Tice with three minions, um, but it would cause him not to actually lose any uh, power and board. He does choose to leave the totem up, however. Finds power overwhelming. He could use that to clear off the uh, the totem as well. Or he's going to take down Finley and leave just the totem right. in play. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to isolate the totem. So yeah. the ordering there, you know, he wanted to use the mortal coil early in his turn while he still had attacks remain. Just the 8-8. Uh, and is going to have to choose exactly how he wants to use it, whether he sends it face. This lets Tice potentially find uh, Feral Spirits, which can absorb damage over time fairly readily. Oh, oh boy. but Defender of Argus makes that 8-8 uh, a lot scarier. Yeah, it certainly does. I think what Tice was trying to set up that turn, you know, or would have loved to have set up that turn anyway, was a situation where the Sea Giant had to choose between killing the 7-7 or the Flame Tongue Totem, where there wasn't enough damage to deal with. Really as much pressure as Tice is right here. Life Tap will find him. Doom Hammer's a great card, but not when you're this far behind and not when you already have Doom Hammer in play. Yeah, I mean, Tice is going to consider his options here. He's just going to go face. I think this ends up being his out. Um, I think, I mean, does, yeah, is 13 really ready? And I think that attacking the minion, you know, you're going to take damage from the minion attacking your face next turn regardless. Right. He does choose to clear the peddler, so I'm curious exactly what he's playing around in this instance. Yeah, it's hard oh, to but say, but... No matter yeah. what he was playing around, nothing could help him survive. Leroy Jenkins, who comes down and takes game number two, tying up the series for Inner. Yeah, and that'll feel great.